Okay, give it a few uh, seconds for me. Hey guys, Triforce of Doom here. And Drake Razorfang again. And welcome back to River City Girls, where last time we bust we sort of busted out of school and just went right back in to do a side quest and beat up a security guard. Yeah. And hey, I'm almost level three, sweet. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's another detail I like, is how every character has their own phone. Yeah. That cheerleader loved to block. Christ. Oh yeah, each variant has their own name, by the way. Yeah. It's, it shows up in the compendium, but it's pretty cool how they do that. Oh, well, you got your level again. Oh, you have your run attack. Well, run heavy. Yeah. Uh, special... Some abilities you can get from the dojos are also, like, vo volleyball set and spike. I don't know how to use those properly, though. Sweet, I'm now full health. Hey, yep, and I just need to level up. That's Mr. Body to you. What? <laughs> Mr. Body? Yeah, I thought it was cute nickname. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, the door's blocked and we gotta get out of here. Can you move the trash? Not sure. You two look pretty heavy. <laughs> get it? Yep. Wow. <laughs> are trash girls. <laughs> like garbage people or something. <laughs> hey. Anyway, we gotta be somewhere and your stink cans is blocking us. Would you mind moving them, please? Yeah, I would love to. But I must finish cooking before lunch rush. However, if girls fetch my ingredients for me, maybe I can move cans of fresh. Fine. What ingredients are we looking for? Ghost peppers, beans, and tomatoes. Are you writing this down? Nope. Any idea where they are, Mr. Body? Stop being lazy and find my food! And they show up on the mini-map. Yeah, exclamation points indicate where you need to go for what for either main or side quest. Okay. And yeah, this is what that key was for, to get all the rooms that where they are unlocked. But yeah. Like we're looking for food now? Seems that way. Let's check the upper floors. And generally even with side quests, um there will be a locked situation when you find your objective. Just warning you now. Yeah. There we go. There's the kill I needed. And now I have Jump Hammer, which is literally swing a backpack at them. Seriously. Yeah. Also, when I first played the demo, I thought it was Erica Mendez voicing Misako. It's not. Because, you gotta admit, she sounds a lot like Ryuko. Yeah. But, yeah, no, it's just someone who sounds a lot, a lot like, whose voice for uh, Misako sounds a lot like the Ryuko voice. And then the chef, um, sounds a lot like Gregor from Fire Emblem Awakening. Honestly, now that you mention it, yeah! It's like, I don't remember, it's like... Voice actor names. I I, I can always look at I can always look it up on like IMBD or whatever later. Yeah. Oh yeah, the school boys are a little annoying because their 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 move that's also their assist actually is a uh, pocket sand, which will stun <laughs> you. It doesn't damage you, but it does stun. Yeah. Making it very good for getting grabs and uh, other recruits out of people if you know how to aim it. Yeah. Okay, so we just keep going, just keep going. There's the beans. Bam. Oh, we got beans. Yuck. At least it's canned, so we can't smell it. I can still smell it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But the nice thing is, the tough and nightmare enemies always have the same color schemes. Toughs are red, and nightmares, well, it's uh, you'll you'll know, you don't understand why they're called nightmares. Yeah. It, because I'm sure we'll see at least one or two of them as we play. So yeah, I have this, which is a launch move, and you have stun. Pretty useful. <laughs> Anywho. Yep, okay. Yeah, let's just keep moving. I see the side quests also give you XP and money, meaning we are going to be loaded for the f for getting healing items for the first bit. Yeah. It's going to be a bit before we find an accessory shop. 
Right on one of the locations where Hang Two is a mall, so you can guess where the first accessory shop is gonna be. Yeah. Four uses the pockets. By the way, I know for I feel like you're gonna recognize an upcoming voice actor once we get out of the school fully. I, it took me one or two conversations just because I don't watch this person a lot, but trust me, you'll know who it is. Oh boy. And I, 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 I like the kick. The kick is useful. Yeah. Okay, which way did we go again? Oh. Um, just keep going. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I expanded the map earlier. How are you just now saying that? Damn it, Kunio. <laughs> which, by the way, they did change up Kunio's design a lot. The Pompadour thing in his retro sprite is not there anymore in his actual design, if you noticed. Kunio is the guy with the white jacket in that intro, by the way. Yeah. So yeah, I thought it was the other way around at first until the ending cutscene. Oh yeah, and also this plays every time you enter the room. Yeah. Now do you understand? Not at all. Not at all. I forget who- oh yeah, I want to say Patrick States also voices a Bobo. Which would not shock me at all. If we're being able to even use the minimize the map for certain things. Okay, I'll just keep going. Uh, never heard cut since I know some of them are like side rooms. Yeah. But yeah, before we fight the final boss, we'll probably do a scavenger hunt for the statues just so we can do get that faster. Yeah, uh, I think we need to go back. Yeah, we do. Oh yeah, here we are. One of the, the bathroom that was locked. It was funny because um, every time they call up Ricky, I just think of the hero pawn from yep. Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah. And there we go, Ghost Peppers! The ghost pepper. Which I want to say my brother ate one raw once because he and his friends like to eat peppers just as to challenge themselves. He regretted it almost immediately. Yeah. My friend does that a lot, only with like Carolina Reapers, which are supposed to be harder than that. Mm. Oh, speaking of, uh, peppers, um, the new Food Wars season started up yesterday. Yeah, I, I saw that. I need to go watch it again. Okay, just saying it now, the, one of the, uh, because you remember what's going on with this season? Like, with the plot? Um, sort of. Because So, I... um, Arena's dad shows up and takes over the school and wants to make everything super rigid and not fun? Yeah. Um, and they're in the middle of the tournament arc to stop that, basically. And, uh, what it is is, like, blocks of three of... It's a Team Shoku Geki with, uh, 3v3 rounds, basically, where it where it's, uh... Out of the three you choose, they're randomly chosen for the opponents, and then they have to do a lottery for the key ingredient thing. Mm. Uh, the match that they ended the cliffhanger on, uh, it, its key ingredient was, uh, I believe it was Cajun peppers or something like that? I forget exactly how to say it. Yeah. But basically, super spicy pepper. And Ringdo, if you remember who that is, is one of the uh, contestants for that one. Mm. She's the red-haired Elite 10. Yeah. The the very uh, an energetic one. So you can imagine how that's going. Okay, so we go left. No, we just keep going right, trust me. Or right. Yeah. I, I'm like, I said it, and then I'm like, I know what I mean. Yeah, I said no. the wrong direction. Yeah, those are. By the way, uh, I forget how many. It's it, the ingredients in one of these boxes. I want to say some of them have health, but it's mostly just to fake you out. Yeah. Granted, the real one has sparkles around the box, so. Ow. <laughs> okay, Colleen, we don't need to know that. <laughs> yeah, the, the death quotes are great. Uh, -oh. uh don't worry. Yeah. Oh, but damn. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, I lost my pocket sand guy. Oh, well. Yeah. So then we go over here. By the way, that guy in the detention room is like the only bystander you can actually interact with with attacks. Oh, God, hi, hi, hi. I've got warps all the way over here. Oh, God, pocket sanded. Well, this could be going a little better. Thankfully, when you die, you keep your XP and you just lose half your money. Yeah. Like, it is, like, granted, losing your money hurts. It really does. But at least you don't lose progress or anything. Yeah. Outside of, like, if you died in a locker room for plot, you still have to go through that, of course. Yeah. I can't Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, that was my guy. Well, we could be doing better. Well, this I'm almost leveled up. Yeah. You're like a few kills away. And yeah, the how the, the way the XP meter itself works is it always resets you to zero for each level, so it's a matter of how much... This is the XP you need to get uh, in total for this level. So it's th it's just like progress bars. Yeah. Uh, hi! Fuck you! Assholes. <laughs> By the way, I love that load screen. Yeah. I'm away. Uh, don't forget, you can just keep pushing light over and over for combos. Yeah. Nice. Why did I push that button? <laughs> I have to wait for him to recharge. Oh, wait, no, he re auto recharges between rooms. I'm trying not to lose my guy, although I probably will. Yeah. Oh, other way. Cheerleaders can be a little annoying with their cartwheels. Yeah. Today, also, I'm pretty sure that's a Famicom on the desk. Puberty. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Which is fitting since River City Ransom was an NES game. Oh, that was me not waiting to enter the. the damn it. <laughs> oh, it's when we mix up who entered the door. Yeah. Alright, we are at around 200 bucks each. We I do not want to lose this cash. <laughs> Same. Uh, dash, please. Yeah, dashing can be a little picky. I don't know. Fair warning, we will be in a boss fight once we enter this, but we one at least one of us should level up from this quest XP, so that should help. Here, yeah. We got your dumb ingredients. Mmm, and still fresh. Girls did nice job. Now move the trash so we can get out of here. Gregor is on job. <laughs> Stay and enjoy my special goulash. I add bovine marrow for extra flavor. <laughs> I'm gonna hurl. A little, little rest if you don't mind. Okay, deal is deal. Go. I moved trash long ago already. <laughs> you jerk. Uh. And to the freezer. And there we go! Now we got the pepper spray, which will give us extra XP or cash from the guy who mainly gives us side quests. Mm. You'll n trust me, you'll recognize his voice actor when you see him. Uh, but or hear him, I guess. 500 XP and 125. I think that was enough to level up. Yes! Cause you were like at 400 out of 900 with your uh, well, with where you were in the thousands tiers. Oh yeah, now you have your, uh, attack behind you move. Ah. And, wait, I'm level 4. I got my run attack. I got the cartwheel. Or, er, not cartwheel, but roll punch. Basically, one make for a bad actual run attack in, uh, Smash Brothers. Yeah. It's like pac but with extra hitbox. It's, like, that run attack in particular is very useful for Misuzu, because it pushes her even when she's down. I mean, you can push her out of the way before she shockwaves. Hmm. While dealing damage. With, and that, with, like, with Masako especially, that is why I recommend being level 4 when fighting Misuzu solo. Yeah. Oh yeah, and now that we're done with the side quest enemies, we'll show up here. I forget how often those ice-like uh, cheerleaders show up. Now that we've done that. Oh god. Hi. By the way, the portrait in the uh, recruit thingy will only show like the base version, not whatever version you actually have. Yeah. Also, tough versions have four hearts, and nightmare versions have five. Yeah. Plus, or you know, plus what any hearts you get from the uh, Tamagotchi that Kyoko has as a default. Anyway, it's time to finally get out of here. And yeah, that was beating the quest for getting out of school proper. Is exiting the gate. Yeah. So nice to get out of that crap. And yeah, we got another locker room. Sure. Wanna go see a movie? We're looking for our boyfriends, remember? Oh yeah. We should ask if they want to go too. <laughs> yeah, Kyoko, she's go tough, but girl. not always the brightest. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, uh what 
Uh, fun thing with a kill a kill if is uh, DTR is released now. They just released them as a patch, which is nice because they were free DLC anyway. Might as well just patch them in. Um, and and uh, the person who I want to fucking main is coming out at the end of the month. Uh, you know kill a kill, right, Jeff? Yeah. Okay, guess who I thought I want to fucking main. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah, she's coming out at the end of the month. Right now, though, my current main is a Sonic Ayama, or right now, not not Sonic Ayama, but uh, the tech dude. I'm just basing on his name right now. Yeah. Sonic Ayama's the sword guy. I can't think of any names right now. Yeah, but yeah, he's a fun one to play because he's a bit of a zoner in a 3D arena fighter, so it's really interesting. Also, the more you hit with his long range attacks, the more powerful his break attack gets. Yeah. Which, which is really fun. Also, when his uh, analyzed gauge, which you fill up with the range attacks, is full, um, it uh, he can he'll go in visibility mode, mm. and dodging and certain attacks will add in clones that will attack. And oh, here he is. Watch it, creep! I almost tore your head off. Oh, I'm no creep. I'm Godai. Is that supposed to mean something to us? We've been neighbors since third grade. Oh yeah. Hey, Masako. It's that creepy guy who lives down the street from you. Oh yeah. Didn't you get kicked out of your school for taking secret photos of the girls' volleyball team? Who, me? <laughs> uh, anyway, nice weather, right? You you catch that recent sports game? Yep. What do you want, Godai? I've been watching you two. <laughs> you? And I think I can help. You're looking for Ricky and Kunio, right? Well, I keep tabs on everyone. <laughs> you know who took my Ricky boo? <laughs> yeah, Jeff Football knows who voice is in the sky. <laughs> yep. <laughs> help me, and I'll help you. What do you want? For starters, I'm pretty hungry. Go get me a double Merv burger. Stop being lazy. Yeah, it's just down the street. Exactly. Bring me a double Merv burger, and you will be handsomely rewarded. My ladies, because I'm so handsome. <laughs> get it? <sighs> so yeah, for those of you who don't recognize that voice, that's Jacksepticeye. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not the only YouTuber voice actor. At all. In fact, two of them that are voice actors for st some storekeepers who many of you who know your video must will recognize. Um, they're voiced by uh, guys who are kind. Well, one of them is cameoed up here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Game Grumps are also voice actors in this game. You'll know, as for who they voice? Oh, yeah, I know, we know how to run. But, uh, as for who they voice? Oh, oh, we'll, we'll get to that, we will get to that. Ooh, yo-yo, one of my favorite weapons. Because, look at that range. You're regular Belmont now. Yeah, I, I, I'd say I'm more Kilua from uh, Hunter x Hunter, which I'm currently watching, and is an absolutely awesome anime, by the way. Yeah. Like, oh my god, how did I not get that series sooner? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up in my top 10 after lo actually looking through all my favorites. Grant, I still need to decide whether I like Assassination Classroom or Steins Gate more. They're tied for fifth place. Man. Alright, give me a second. Yeah. Well, at least I got you out, up before you stunned me. Slap, slap. Yeah, I know, the yo-yo's fun. By the way, the double Merv Burger, if I recall, is... I forget how much it is. But, uh, we got more than enough money to get ourselves some snacks. By the way, your max item storage goes up as you level up. Also, yeah, every store has its own shopkeep. Every single store. Mm -hmm. It's great. Wait. Did you not enter the store? Sure no. thing. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Well, I might as well just get myself some shit. Sure thing. Uh, Turbo Juice doesn't heal much, but but basically maxes out your agility for like a 20 or 30 seconds. Mm. So not a bad thing to get. Got it. Yeah, I'll just buy more once. Hey oh, right, that's what it is. We take turns. Mm. And yeah, it only shows you what it is once you eat it. Also, eating one of each thing will give you stat ups. But for oh, but only for the first time you eat one. So that plus hitting level 30 is how you max out your characters. Uh, see you later. Uh, speaking of. 
Uh, let's just double check our stuffs here. Okay, so I can hold one more item. Cool. So, yeah, I might as well just, uh, buy the turbo juice and drink it, and then I'll get another fizzy okay. buzz. Which is straight up ramen mm. You can tell from the bottle shape. Yeah. Sure thing. And yeah, it's percentage based for healing, not not hey, actual man. numbers, thank Bye. god. That means no matter what healing items are useful. Good choice. See you later. <sighs> I'm shocked you didn't instantly eat to heal up at all. Yeah. Oh yeah, an ice cream shop too. Hey, you found us. So what you want? Hmm. Well, I'm kinda of full up on items right now, so. You might as well heal up with one of these. These are pretty good healing items. Oh yeah, I mean, well, that's gonna be a very like, okay. Here's the thing: Pro ZD voice is one of the shopkeeps. They got a lot of well-known people for this. Yeah. Anyways, as for the first dojo. What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? <laughs> yeah, the dojo masters are Billy and Jimmy from Double Dragon. <laughs> Which uh, one of them is voiced by Aaron, and the other is voiced by Danny. Yeah. This one's Aaron. I, I, re I knew they voiced them, I just didn't know which was which, until I heard Danny. Yeah. Because, oh yeah, also each of us have our own uh, moves. So... I'm gonna buy that one. Spectacular. <laughs> Damn it, Aaron. Wait, what did he say again? Something like spook tech. Or like... Oh yeah, no, well, one of his lines is, get in my dojo and fight me. Yeah. Like when you first enter the shop. And I must have stone hands. Deadly. Oh yeah, and you base and uh you get the next tier amongst the level five, so you'll have more moves to choose from. Um I'll also buy a high kick. Deadly. I wanna save some money for the burger. Yeah. What up? And here you go. Ready to break a leg? Okay, for you, uh scroll uh scroll down to Dragon Feet, I think it is yeah, that's your standing special. <laughs> Basically the Chun Li move. Yeah. It's great. Honestly, I would highly recommend grabbing the uh, dragon feet. Yeah. It is a great get off me move. And that is a that is a run special, I believe. Yeah, I mean it's it's a run it it's a dash attack version of Bowser's forward smash. Yep. Only not a huge giant lizard. By the way, how SP works is you build it up by attacking. Yeah. Although once you uh unlock once you uh do a, a certain 100% method, uh which I think is in New Game Plus only, yeah it's uh, the New Game Plus uh, version of the statues uh, which is finding cats. Getting all of those gets you an infinite SP accessory. Mm. Go beat up the world, dude. Go beat up. Oh yeah, and that right, guys, a tougher. So uh, let's see, uh, moves. This is, you know just so you know what you need to do for them. Uh, some of the moves you buy from the dojo are just extenders to your standard combo. Yeah. So if it's Y rapidly, that just means it's part of the standard combo. Hmm. So now I have a down heavy attack. And, uh, mashing special. Oh, did you see what yours were? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I already have it. Holy fuck, that's a lot of SP. And the yo-yo. Or the I'm gonna grab the rope. So yeah, again, red ones are tough enemies. At least you get SP quickly. Yeah. Uh, oh god. That's a problem. Do we want to leave? Yeah, I I'm just moving on. Uh, two, one. Now, the Merv Burger store is at the end of this screen. By the way, the other dojo is near at one of the end game areas. Yeah. Thankfully, there's bus stops throughout the game, so... And they don't even cost money. They're just there. Yeah. By the way, this one Godai quest is required. The rest are optional. But are basically on the way anyways. Let me know if you want anything. And he wanted a double, specifically. Yeah. Wait, I just remembered. Oh, wait, no. Oh, uh, okay. Wait. Shit. Do you not have room to carry it? Yeah. 
I can get it. Okay. Customers. You run a burger shop. Don't be so snobby. I'll eat one and then I'll buy another one. Sure, no. I guess. Okay. That's all you're going to buy? You run a burger shop. Don't be so snobby. Oh, there's my level up. So yeah, uh, sir, they'll tell you when when you get a level that increases your dojo abilities. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I have the Bruce backhand. It's sort of the Bruce Lee move. Yeah, you have the donkey kick, and I just backhand him. Mhm. Mm All right. Oh yeah, corrupt cops. Guys, go figure. We're in a place with a crime boss. So there's gonna yeah. be corrupt cops. Uh, their assist move is a throwing a tear gas bomb, which yeah. is basically a long range version of the pocket sand. Yeah. I forget what the wrestler assist is, honestly. Which they're basically came from Tekken design wise. Yeah. I remember I had to grind up money a bit just because I accidentally spent too much before getting to this point first run. Yeah. I should mention, my solo run was the one I went through first, but uh, my friend who I was going to play the game with got there right as I got to the final boss door. Mm. So I just played throughout the game again, right then and there, basically. Yeah. Which, hey, this game is way too fun. I do not mind doing that. I just realized we are like an another 25 minutes in, so once we give the burger to go, I will end the part. Seems like a good place to end it, right? Yeah. Well, oh, well, okay. <laughs> Please, mercy! Okay! Throws box on him. Whoops. <laughs> Here is your mercy. Have a box. Also, Kyoko's face when holding a heavy object. Yep. She will end you. And yeah, item, weapon, <laughs> yeah, weapon slash red when they're like a hit away from being destroyed, by the way. Mainly with heavy objects. Light att light objects, uh, I think it's two or three. Ow. Y'all are, oh, damn, I missed. That uses up so much SP, damn. Give me my SP back. <laughs> oh, go die. Your burger. Ah, royal beef of the gods. <laughs> I'm never eating fast food again. You got your dumb burger. Now, what do you know about Kunio and Ricky? Boy, that hit the spot. Okay, you mentioned they were talking to someone creepy looking. No, we didn't, actually. How did you? Well, you know, word gets around. <laughs> Anyway, my guess is they were talking to Yamada. Who's that? A kid from Reiho High School. Or he used to be, anyway. Before he started practicing the dark arts. That's not a thing. It's totally a thing. Yamada usually hangs out at the mall. Go see if he's there. Thanks. Let's get out of here, Misako. Say, Yamada is going to be our next boss fight. For your mm -hmm. old pal Godai. Maybe we can help each other out again. I'll be around. He'll show up once in each area for taking me a side quest. Yeah. This is his side quest for Crosstown. But yeah, with that, that will be the end of the part. Oh, sweet, I can pick up a uh, downed enemy. Oh, you can I pick can. him. Nice. I can pick up. So yeah, with all that said, this has been the Triforce of Doom. And Drake Razorfang. Peace out. Burn off.